Thanks. A growing city in Washington County wants to make improvements to its water and sewer systems and build a new fire station. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker tells us more about what Tawny Town is planning to do if a bond initiative passes. Tawny Town voters are being asked to vote for or against restructuring and refinancing a 2005 bond. Voters are also being asked if they want to make water and sewer improvements and the city to build a new fire station. The city of Tawny Town has grown 107% in less than seven years. The latest census data says the city has around 4,300 citizens, but Mayor Paul Colvin suspects it's much higher because of new apartments and homes that have gone up since the census was conducted in April of 2020. Since that date, we've added some 2,000 more citizens to our town, so we think that our citizen count is somewhere around the six to 8,000 range currently. And in the next 15 years, we're scheduled to be 35,000 people in Tawny Town. Because of this growth, the city wants to make improvements to their water and sewer systems and build a new fire station to better protect their residents and businesses. With this bond, there will be no sales tax increase, but with the new bond, they will use $5.2 million to build the new fire station. Chairman of Tawny Town City Council, Gene McCartney, says the new station would be built behind the city park. With the population being uh, so large, we would like to add facilities for them to be able to respond 24 seven to calls within the city without relying on the volunteers as much. Having this new fire station along with improvements to the city's water system could potentially decrease people's insurance rates. From the bond, the city would spend $8 million for water and sewer improvements. Springdale School District opened Rollins School of Innovation this year, and Colvin says they'd like to be able to provide sewer to the surrounding neighborhoods. As well as put new sewer systems out west where we see the growth potential with the new Highway 612 coming in. So you know, there's lots of projects that we could do for the city. And you know, right now with interest rates, as cheap as they are, we're trying to leverage the money to be able to put these things in place instead of paying three times the cost in the future. If voters do not approve the bond, then the city of Tawny Town will not be able to move forward with any of these projects. In Tawny Town, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Polls are open until 730 tonight at St. Joseph Catholic Church in Tawny Town. It's also election day in Oklahoma and Salisaw voters are deciding on a big project for the school system. It's a three and a half million dollar bond issue to pay for storm shelters to be built at the high school, middle school, plus East Side and Liberty Elementary schools. And in LaFleur County, voters in Hevener and Howe are deciding if OGNE can continue to distribute electricity in the cities. Polls are open until seven o'clock tonight. A physician